Hey folks, this is IO Ether, and um, we're back with another game. So, I, don't, I haven't quite figured out what to call these things yet. Like, the, they're not games of the week, obviously, because I play, you know, about two of them a week. Um, but they're little mini games that, that I like to give you guys so you guys have something like bite sized early in the mornings. Um, and they're fun! So, this is The Room 2. It's a puzzle type room, like, um, game. It should be a lot, like, old, uh, very similar to some of the older, like, point-and-click adventure games kind of thing, but I'm fairly certain it's filled with a ton of puzzles, and it got pretty decent reviews, so I decided to pick it up and try it. So we're just going to continue. I started this a little bit, I went through a little bit of the tutorial, and then realized that you guys should really see all of this, so I, uh, I went back to the beginning. And we're just gonna click and click and drag to look around with the mouse. And see, this is some current sort of. Is that a sundial? It's got north, east, south, west on it. That looks like combination. I don't know what goes in there though. Combination locks with something. And there's. Are those. numerals? Roman numerals on there? I think there's a five and a one, and then. Is that the same design up there, 5 and 1, or is that a V and a 3? Anyways, we're focusing on the note, apparently. We're going to open this note up. If my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Emerge. Ooh. Welcome, friend. We have much to share. Now you are blind, but I have left you provisions, or left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. Thank you for that. It's very nice of you. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room and trust in your wits to uncover it. I am not the only ghost in this place. Oh. Okay, so we have, by finding a letter, we've actually found um, a lens with a broken, or a, a goggle thingy with a broken lens. Okay. Interesting. Right click to zoom out. I gotta remember to do that. Uh, and so I zoom out again, and now I can look at this table. Double click on the other table to explore. Apparently I can only click on the round box. Okay. Um, and then push the button open the lid oh yeah right I remember this so this thing moves so I can like do this with it there we go and pull this out and grab the lens cool and then and now I can see Red things, I guess. Click to wear the eyepiece. Oh, click on the eyepiece to wear the eyepiece. Yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Ooh, cool. So there's a th thumbprint here, and if I click on it, then it opens up a thing, which I can now see a small piece of shaped metal. Okay. Yeah, I should try and figure out where this goes. Okay, so if I wear this now, look around the room, do I see anything different? Oh yeah, I do, look at that. North, east, can I move this? North, east, south, or sorry, south, east, south, west, north. Um, okay. I can't move these. I can't drag them. Okay. I can't click on this. There's a piece missing. Yeah, I figured that out already. It's not that piece. Okay. Well, it tells me something, but it doesn't tell me what I'm looking for.
Oops. <laughs> so we get trying to right click on something <laughs> to spin it. It's not how this game works. Okay, well I can't fit anything in there. Let's do this. Zoom out and then zoom in. Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, Mr. Rigby, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleagues' faith in your character. If it were up to me, I would not engage man of such low breeding. What? An even lower station as yourself. I don't like this guy. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach. Okay, yes. Okay, I get the grave robber thing might be bad. But as Mr. de Montfaucon, 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 sure, is fond of saying, needs, needs must as the devil drives. Okay. It falls to me then to brief you on your ungodly task. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return of the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only available within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for eye the eyes or hands of the uneducated man such as yourself. Oh, wow. This guy is just so kind. I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by minor <laughs> inferior minds. Wow. Just like every other sentence is just like an insult. <laughs> if you were trying to make me want to pick something up, this is a good way to do it. So I can't. Oh. I didn't see that till just then. Are there any others attached to? They don't go here, right? No. No others I can see. Okay, let's try looking at this box then. Okay, so nothing weird written on that. Oh! Look at that. I didn't even notice that before. Panels appear to have mission shapes. Yeah. This and this. Oh. small brass sphere. Yeah, obviously it looks like it belongs somewhere. Yeah, I, want, I, want, I wonder how I figured that out. Does it belong here? Okay. Thank you all for watching. Um, and uh, next time when we continue our adventures, We'll pick up right where we left off. If you've enjoyed this, please do hit the like button, as that will help me out quite a bit. And thank you good for watching. Have a great night. This is Iowether out.